What's going on, cattermen and catter women? Welcome back to another fishing adventure. Today, I'm gonna be going out with my buddy Eric from Cranking with Crow, who's been saying for years now he's gonna start a YouTube channel and never has until this point. We're gonna go take the kayaks out for some channel catfish and maybe some striped bass. I don't know if we're gonna catch any striped bass, but at least we're gonna try. Regardless, let's enjoy the adventure. I hope you enjoy this trip. Let's catch some big old catfish. Maybe some stripers too. Now my friends, we are finally here. Almost ready to do some fishing. Just gotta wait for Eric to get over here. Some of you guys have asked some questions about my rig. So real quick, let's just go over it. This is the BKC PK13. Not a bad kayak for 13 feet, a little bit heavy. Pretty basic really when you think about it. It's got two Scotty mounts here, two gear tracks where the chairs adapt to, you know, nice storage area in the back and a little bit of a, a more primitive affordable style rudder system with a fin on the bottom like that i always keep an extra propeller for the pedal drive system and an extra rudder with me just in case anything were to go bad out there on the water so you can see a pretty straightforward basic pedal drive system also now it uses a belt inside of it this belt can break and i'd say lasts about anywhere from a half to a whole season maybe two seasons sometimes as like i said it's pretty basic pretty straightforward it goes about three to four miles an hour on average the most i've ever gotten was about four and a half miles an hour and once it starts clanking that means that uh yeah that's not good for the belt so you should probably not go that fast and put that much pressure on it but yeah it's not a bad vessel at all you know gets the job done now i am going to install an anchor trolley on this in a couple of days here and actually it's supposed to arrive today from amazon but yeah that's the rig got it on a sea tug cart i love that cart really awesome and for the price it really does a great job all right my dudes we're gonna put this in the water Get it all set up and ready, and uh, let's have a good time on the water today. Let's catch some big stripers. Let's catch some channel catfish too, and uh, hope we're going to hook into some pigs. Finally, after all that waiting, so uh, let me explain to you. As it seems, Eric, due to the rain last night, was not able to check whether he was able to mount his kayak on his new car. So we are now fishing without Eric. Weather doesn't look too bad. This is one of those days actually where fishing should be pretty good for striped bass. And I do hope that we get on something nice over here. Now there is a lot of boat traffic. You're gonna have to be really careful with wakes if you ever do this. Now this is a 13 foot kayak, 33 and a half inches wide. So I feel very, very safe and comfortable in this kayak, even in strong, heavy currents and in heavy wakes. So we're gonna first set up on this bank over here because the current comes down here, cuts around here. And actually um, on these types of banks is actually where I've caught flathead catfish before so i'm hoping maybe we can get lucky you know hook into a nice flathead maybe two while we're out here but yeah we're on the water so at least we've got that set up and ready to rock let's catch some fish guys looks beautiful out today like a fishing type of beautiful not actual beautiful weather you know no sunshine whatsoever <laughs> all right so first up let's get the bait out so as always i've got me some fresh gizzard shed and Actually, before I do that, should have probably thought about this. 
let's make sure we can actually stay in one spot. So I'm gonna look right here into deploying this oh, anchor. Man, it's getting a little old now, this anchor rope. Okay, good. There's that. So let's actually, I've got an old gizzard shad in here ready. One of these, I actually think it's a thread fin. So that guy's all mushy, all nasty. We're just gonna use him as chum. That's it, nothing else, just chum. Nice. And now I do got some of these big gizzard shad over here too. So um, I'm actually gonna take the old one here and we're just literally gonna save the parts from him that we can actually use. So what I mean by that is, I'm gonna cut the, the gut pouch out over here. And actually, I might just use that as a whole bait right here. Head's good right here. Once we trim those fins off, and there we go. Nice, nice and usable gizzard shed chunk. Going a little bit bigger on the pieces today than I was the other trip I took here at night that I didn't show you guys which was not recorded because I wanted to have some fun on the water by myself without having to film, okay? Next up, what are we gonna need? Weights on our rigs over here. And then we should be all good to go. All right, my dudes, here we go. We've got the suspending rod right over here. So that's what we're gonna use to just hold the bait right down over here on this ledge. I'm trying to get all this nasty green stuff off of here. And now, let's get our hands on this nice gizzard shed or should I say thread fin shad head because the I think that's what these actually might be. We're gonna use a, what are we gonna use? A two ounce weight, and that's just because the current can get a little bit crazy around here. So I'm gonna use a two ounce for that, and then a three ounce weight for the bottom suspender. All right, so here we go. Yeah. And so I've got a really long leader, as you can see over here. That's probably almost, almost 30 inches, and that's because striper can be very finicky and I think if we want a chance of catching a striper in this kind of a current then we're going to have to leave a long leader on that so actually let's take the stomach pouch here and I might actually cut this in, in half again you know just to uh, kind of make it a smaller profile since it is going at actually on a six odd circle hook and well hopefully the striper sees it, and if he were to grab it, he won't mind that much. Look at that, there's a nice amount of meat on that. And we're gonna throw this right over there into the channel. And uh, usually from my experience, that's where the biggest cats hang out during the daytime. And uh, actually last time there was a lot of them there at night too, which is kind of interesting, you know, it's a little different. Okay, hook it right through the gut, and hook it right through down there. And that should be a good presentation for a nice old channel catfish, flathead. Maybe even a striper, but like I said, I don't think they're gonna bite that. Regardless, let's cast it out. All right. Eh, eh, eh. See what happens, my boys and girls. I know we got a few female watchers. Oh, that didn't take long. We got a we got a bite, guys. We got a bite. On that belly. This actually feels like a pretty good channel cat. He's moving straight up current. Look at that. There we go. Yes, come on, butterboy. Come on, butterball. Dang, he's literally swimming up current. What do we have here? Yo, look at that. That's a big, mean Delaware River, river channel catfish. Look at that, man, that's a nice one. That's a pretty fish. Ooh, with an infected eye, huh? All right, bud. Dang, yeah. That was quick, that was literally, the bay was out there for no more than like maybe three minutes, I'd say. No, channel cats usually do bite pretty good and oh yeah that guy's seen better days with his right eye i tell you these mustad circle hooks they get a good hook set now that not the nicest looking eye for a channel catfish but definitely a beauty all right bud you'll be free
Hasta la vista, man. All right, you know what, guys? We're gonna move it. We're gonna go further out into the current because I think we're too much in slack water here and it's not gonna bode well for us in the end. It's also very shallow for this bait over here to stay suspended, so. We'll get out in that current. I think that's where these channel cats and probably even striper are hanging out. And we should be good to go. All right, we'll anchor up over here. It's like right actually next to that over there. Oh, I think we got a bite right there, guys. Yeah, oh, we definitely do. Oh, yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Is he on? I don't know if he is. No, yeah. Wait, is he? Or did he drop the bait? I don't know. Whoa, guys, we just have a huge hit on the left rod over here. Oh, my God. Wow, he freaking hammered that bait. Jesus. Okay. Oh. What the frick is that? Wow. Nice coming straight up. Big old head shakes. Oh. Oh yeah, it's another nice channel catfish. Holy, look at that, man. Monster Trenton Delaware River channel catfish. Yeah, man, they're all nice size around here. I mean, these are not giants by any means, but that's another nice one. Look at that. Big mouth on it too. Come on, bud. Mm. Come on, bud. <laughs> Come on. There we go. That's another fatty right there. Perfect hook set on that six odd hook too. My God, if you guys would have seen the initial hook set. I mean, that was freaking one for the books. Just bow. Woo, wow. What a beauty. What a beauty and what a freaking takedown too. Hey, hey man, don't try to roll my thumb. <laughs> These fish are crazy. Man, I tell you. That was awesome. All right, let's throw another bait out. <laughs> wow, guys, look at that. Oh my God, instant, instant take that. Jesus, Jesus, oh, holy crap. Man, I can't even lure fish. That Sandy Cuba rig though is getting destroyed over here. Ah, uh, fish just came off, I'm pretty sure. Dang it. That's a, that fish just pulled drag before I could even hit record. This might be one of those more decent sized channel catfish that's in this river. Okay, so now I think all of us know channel catfish have pretty strong head shakes. So we're gonna try to take our time with this one and let the soft tip of this jigging style rod really take the brunt of all these head shakes. See, that's what I like about these rods. I think they're really good for circle hooks because it's fiberglass. This is a great material, not too heavy. You know, and they can still sling some nice sized baits. All right, he's coming out. He's down here. He hasn't come to the service yet, which is pretty unusual. Usually these guys right away come up to the service in heavy current. This guy's just staying down there. You can see those tail lips too. Yo, oh, 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 that's a big channel cat. Oh my God, guys, 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 guys. That's, a, that's, that's one of those Trenton specials right here. That's a Trenton special channel catfish right here. Oh my God, I knew it. The moment I heard that drag rip, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a Trenton special right there. 
Now it looks like the hook is pretty good, man. That's a that's a monster. Is that a male? Come on, dude. That's. Uh, uh, oh my God, man! Holy! Now that that is a jail catfish. Woo! I know that these teeth of yours are very nice and sharp. I like to give back to these catfish. So sometimes I actually do like to feed them. So what I'll do is I'll stick something like this down their gullet and they'll, they'll fight back a lot trying to like spit it out. But I usually am able to force it into their stomachs and I do it in a way that doesn't hurt their throats. All right, no matter what I do, he does not want to accept this meal. Goodbye, you stinker. <laughs> Man. Wow, that was one of those giants, though. That's that's one of those freaking giants, I tell you. And there's so many of them down there. It's crazy. Oof. All right, let's clean these boots. Whoa. I don't want no shad water in this freaking yak just yet. Thank you very much. Now you guys are probably shaking over here and I do apologize about that. I'm using the GoPro Hero 4 Black as of this moment. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I don't think that I did. But I've got a goal for this trip, okay? Two goals actually. One, catch a striped bass of course, even at least like a 28 incher. And two, catch a flathead catfish. Um, even though the water temp did go down now, so it's going to make catching a flatty a little bit harder because um, I can try to throw some baits into the deeper pools, but I don't know how that'll pay off. Regardless, pedal system's in. Let's get a rocking and a rolling. We're going to head to that buoy, that green one over there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if there's any fish posted up right behind there. When I talked to a guy the other day, they were saying that these fish were hanging out near these buoys in 23 to 25 foot of water. So I don't know if today's any different, but if the water got colder by about three or four degrees, then I would think they should be hanging out over there. Get right back to business. Wow, it took that long for that bait to get down to the bottom. That's crazy. Whoa, what the frick was that just jumping in front of us? Was it a sturgy? That couldn't be a sturgeon, huh? That actually might have been a sturgeon. What the frick? Let's uh, reel these baits in and we're going to go further on that side over there and try that ledge instead. Then we're going to work our way down over there and then go next to this buoy. Oh wait, there's a fish biting on the other on the other line. Is he still on that? I don't think that he is. Definitely a small fish that bit for sure. Now let's see if he wakes us or if he's going to slow down. Could at least slow down. Couldn't have even slowed down. Even for two seconds. Thank you! Real nice. All right, well, I'll see you guys at the other spot right over there. All right, guys, here we're at the new spot. It looks like a little bit of a drizzle is picking up over here. Not that major, um, but just a little bit. You know, it's getting a little cloudier. I'm getting a little hungry, too. I wonder if there's a Papa John's near here. <laughs> or maybe a Chipotle delivery. That would be pretty sick. All right, I guess that's not going to happen. Maybe there's a pizza joint around I can pick up some pizza from, too reliable and trustworthy. Before we do anything, let's get some fresh baits out on this. I'm just gonna go for a nice gut chunk for a change. I've, I've always wanted to catch the sturgeon, especially, you know, here in the Delaware. I mean, I don't want to target them and I'm not gonna target them because that's illegal. But I'm saying if I did have the chance to hook into one, that'd be pretty cool. I would definitely embrace that. You know that in Japan, they actually eat gizzard shad? Never understood that. I, I saw them like prepared in sushi. And I mean, it actually looks kind of good. 
Future catch and cook? Anyone? <laughs> oh, we got a bite already, yep. Yep, we got a fish already, guys. We are on a channel cat. Nice. All right, so it was better to go right here along this shoreline. That's crazy. All right, here we go, guys. Finally. Finally we're on a fishing head. Felt like it took a long time for that to happen over here, huh? All right, let's see this butter ball. Yeah, guys. Easy hook removal. Whoa, bud. What the hell is coming out of you there? Is it, are those eggs? Oh, there's... <laughs> I guess they were. He was really trying to protect his balls there. Wow, that was a quick bite. Awesome. Now, we're going to throw this bait out again because it still has the guts in it. I don't know what the heck that was poking out of it. I mean, it looked kind of weird. Either eggs or if catfish have balls, it was his balls. Let me know down in the comments. Do catfish have balls? Whoa, guys, we got a double whammer right here. Jesus. Jesus, man. Oof. Okay. It's another medium sized channel cat okay? from the looks of it. Yeah, boys. That's it, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so at least we're starting to get bites here on the suspended baits now, which is good. You know, I actually had one you guys didn't even see. He pulled it down all the way really hard and then the hook popped. Oh, it's a nice yellow channel cat. Look at that, man. What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, look. I mean, have we even caught a single small size channel cat today? I don't think so. These guys are anywhere from eaters to, um, you know, four or five pounders. But all of these fish are good fish. There we go. Nice. All right. Cat photo release. Hasta la vista, my friend. That's a scrappy channel catfish. No! Not bait, man. Enjoy your dew stand at the bottom of this river. Please, not here. Woo! Man, okay. We are downsizing and we're going to uh, dangerous channel cat sizes right here. What I mean by that is these little guys like this, these spines, and I'll keep telling you guys this, super dangerous. You gotta be so careful with them. They can cause lasting injuries. Yeah, like a lot of people are like, oh, it's a cute little catfish. <laughs> you know, they get shanked. They're like, oh my God, it hurts. Like a lot of kids do that. Whoa. I think that might be the smallest catfish we've had all day today. I mean, it's a channel cat, you know? I'm not complaining in that regard, but it is the smallest channel cat we've had today. All right, ladies and gents, there's a pretty old channel kitty. Let's let it go, let it grow. That's a small and a light one though, man. I wanted a pig, what the heck? Hey, look at that little nub. That's a little nub, man, I don't want you. You're a little baby. Oh my God, they keep getting smaller, I don't like this. No, I was here for the freaking big kahuna. You, you, you destroyed my filet chunk too. You killed my dreams, little man. Little stinker. I think we should move spots. I want to wrap this trip up soon. I think maybe within the next hour, two hours. So actually what I want to do is, there's one spot around here that I know very well that holds some huge channel catfish, always. And it's not a far pedal away. It's maybe like a five minute ride away. Anyways, let's get going. There's some people over there doing donuts too and shiz. Bunch of these Hispanic kids with souped up <laughs> Hondas and Subarus. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. It's kind of stupid that all these kids are out, you know, still doing whatever the hell they want to do, but yo, it's a bald eagle. No way. No way. Yo, that's a, oh, I wish I had my camera on me right now. Frick. That was a bald eagle right there. No, that's awesome. All right, 
past all my ADD and ADHD and whatever the hell else I got in my brain going wrong. Let me set this anchor down. Whew. All right, guys, here we are. And we are sitting right on top of the Cochrane Channel. So the Cochrane Channel is actually the deepest part of the Delaware River in this stretch. It gets to about 38 feet um, during low tide and therefore about, well, okay, so low tide and then tides about eight feet, so 38 and then that eight, so 46 feet deep at its max. That, that's pretty impressive. I'm thinking if there are any flathead catfish in this river, they're gonna be right in this hole. It's almost like they kind of have to be because if they're still wintering, in the Delaware at least, then yeah, this would be the, the spot where to find them. So now we're gonna find out. Guys, my other GoPro just died and a huge, huge channel cat just grabbed the bait. I can't move this fish. Wow, I went for massive head shakes. Woohoohoo! Literally, all I heard was the rod just go BAM! And I'm like, yo, record! Lucky enough, you guys are still live on that GoPro, but Jesus, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was in that 40 foot hole. That's gonna have to be a nice fish. Yeah, he's going sideways now. <laughs> yo! Yo! No way! Wow, yeah, that's a nice kitty right there. That's another nice freaking channel catfish. What a mondo. It's always in the deepest holes of these rivers, you know, where you catch these old giants that have been around here for a couple of years, probably. Man, you are another fatty cakes. Nice male, too. I know, bud. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Now that is a pretty channel catfish. Fresh out of the Delaware River, next to some dude doing donuts in the parking lot over here, ripping out his tire. Nice. I hope you guys can hear that. That's beautiful. Woo! Go, kitty. That dude better be careful near my car. I swear to God, if that guy damages my car, we've got problems. This right here should be a killer, killer, killer bait. Look at that. For a nice size channel cat. Woof. Man, I can smell that burnout tire over here now. Jesus. Ooh, we got a bite. Yep, for sure. Oof. Oof. Can you hear that rod holder pounce? Ooh. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> I bet you it's another giant. Let's see. If it's another one that's almost 10 pounds and above, I swear to God, this is the honey hole. And I'm gonna remember this for years to come. And I hope you guys do too. Oh yeah, that's another nice channel cat. I mean, not as big as the other one for sure, but still nice size canny. And that wasn't that long, right? Between bites either, if you think about it. Papa Kevin's got gotcha. you. Woo! Another nice little porker. Whoa! What a beauty. Alright, bud. Be free. Looks like my Hero 8 battery just died. That was the last one. We got no more head cam footage. It's just going to be you and I right now. Wow, we just had a really nice fish on, fleshed this bait apart, and then dropped it. So, we're going to try a couple more baits over here. I'm going to see if maybe this nice big old shad head can change that fish's mind and we're actually throwing this right on the ledge 
And since I only have two ounces of weight on this originally supposed to be suspending combo, it's kind of drifting along the bottom. And I've noticed that these cats love that. Like if that bait is bouncing, bump, 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 right along the bottom as it's going down the current, um, that's just like a, a big bonus for them. It, it kind of attracts them more and makes them want to bite the bait. You know what I mean? If you're interested in any of the gear, the rigs I'm using in this video, uh, there's links down below in the description for all of that. Feel free to check that out. They're Amazon affiliate links. So it doesn't cost you anything extra if you want to get the same gear that I'm using. What I can tell you is whenever I use gear, it's gear that I trust and that I also find affordable. I don't spend a crazy amount of money on my gear and it all lasts me very long because, well, I know how to work it. It's amazing when you just take the time to just take in all the sounds of what's going on around you once everything's so still and quiet. That's what I love so much about the spring. Everything comes back to life. And there's catfish to be caught. Now, did he hook himself? That's the question. But yeah, everything's coming back to life. All the animals are out. At night, you hear the raccoons and you know, the foxes everywhere. Ooh. Damn. All right, these rods are popping off left and right. This is the spot to be. Man, you know, channel cats, they they don't get huge, but I gotta say, they put up some of the best fights. Whoa, 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 the other rod just went off too. We got, we got double, we got double, guys. We got doubles. Oh, we got doubles for days. Oh, head shakes for days. What's up, pup? Oh, what the heck? The way that, that uh, Storm Shad moves in the water, and I got it right next to me here, that you know that lure I'm using for the striper? Oh, come on, relax, bud. Um, it looks like a snake when the, the reflection's right. So for a second here, I just thought I had a freaking snake, like just eyeing up my catfish. There we go. Woohoo! Nice old channel cat. Let's get the other one. That feels like uh, a little bit better of a fish. I'm not gonna death roll it out. Death rolling actually did save you. <laughs> Got a big flathead on, not sorry, not flathead, channel cavish on over here. He just peeled drag out of this rod like none other. Like, I didn't, I haven't heard something like that all day over here. Whoa! Whoa! No! No, I lost him and now my freaking rig is... Oh, come on, man. That was a huge freaking channel cat. Ugh. I dumped the kista. Oh, boy, is it time for redemption. I watched it slowly, slowly double over. And this time we're not gonna let this fish wear itself out too quickly. This is a decent sized fish. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit sore over here after all this catfish wrangling all day. Let's get the glove ready and this time let's not get hooked. That's not a flat hit, right? No, that's a channel cat, all right. That's a big old Cheney. Jeez. Oh my God, the other rod's going off too. I can't handle all this catfish action. Oof. Oh my God. Holy crap, this almost looks like a blue cat. Oh. 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 Woo. Talk about a nice size channel catfish. These are all trophy sized channel cats. Like you don't see them this big very often around New Jersey. And uh, the Delaware River has them. Oh, catch photo release. 
What a porker. All right, here you go. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Let me start off by saying, pardon my appearance. I think the worst effect from this pandemic that I personally have had is the fact that I can't get a freaking haircut. I hope that all of you out there are happy, healthy, safe, and in this time that everybody else that you know and your family members are also happy, healthy, and safe. I know it's an interesting time for all of us to go through, but I really hope that this pandemic ends soon and that it ends in a smooth way. Talk about a way to end this video. I mean, really just like catching one of the biggest channel canvas right there, right before I got to head out is a definite thrill and definitely was pretty awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I think that was probably the biggest channel cat of the trip. Let me know down in the comments if you thought that was the biggest channel cat of this trip or if the ones previously were bigger. One thing I can tell you for sure is that that channel cat that I lost was hands down the biggest channel cat that I've seen in a while. But it's not the biggest channel cat that I've caught on video this year. So stay tuned for further future kayak catfishing adventures. Stay tuned also for a new surf fishing setup that I'm going to be reviewing that I just purchased for under 150 bucks, and I can cast some lures crazy far, like 120, 130 yards in ideal situations. And I'm also going to be focusing on doing some drone reviews. So drone footage, giving you a little review of my DJI Mavic Air, and that is also to kind of capitalize on the fact that the DJI Mavic Air 2 just came out for literally the same price. Like, ugh. Oh, so painful, dude. Like, Catter, man, what are you doing? Like, you just buy the Flymore bundle, and then literally, like, a couple of weeks later, the freaking Mavic Air 2 comes out with 4K60, which is really what I wanted. Let me just stop right there, though. I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Catterman, ah!